and welcome to the mini lesson of Theseus and the Minotaur. Today we're going to be using that myth to help us write an explanation. We're going to be using fiction and non-fiction ideas to boost creativity. If you've not yet watched the main lesson video for this myth, it's all about maths and position and orientation. So you can watch that right now or after this one. But first, let's recap the myth. King Minos was the ruler of Crete and many other Greek islands. Many people looked towards him for guidance. His wife, Queen Pasiphae, gave birth to a half-man, half-bull called a minotaur. King Minos was ashamed by this half-creature, but he did not want to kill it. His solution was to lock him up in a labyrinth that was underneath his village. This labyrinth was made to be very difficult to find a way out, so the Minotaur always stayed there. King Minos had many enemies, most of them being from Athens. He took lots of them as prisoners, and instead of putting them in a prison cell, he took them and put them in the labyrinth. None of them ever came back. After three years of the Minotaur being kept in the labyrinth, a man named Theseus went to Crete to stop the people being thrown to the Minotaur. He was going to slay the Minotaur to save future lives of his people. Many people tried to make him change his mind, but he was determined. King Minos let him go into the labyrinth because he knew that even if he slayed the Minotaur, there was no way he would find his way out. Little did King Minos know was that his daughter was helping Theseus because she did not want him lost. She gave him a thread that would unravel as he went further and further into the labyrinth. If he defeated the Minotaur, he could find his way free. Theseus was victorious over the Minotaur and he saved many people from a future gruesome death. He took the thread and found his way back to the opening of the labyrinth. Then, him and the princess sailed back to Athens. For our explanation today, we're going to be looking at the character of the Minotaur. The Minotaur is classified as a cryptid. Cryptids are very interesting. They are creatures whose existence is not yet decided meaning that people believe in them, but they've never actually seen one. We talked about these kind of creatures in the Mythical Creatures lesson video when we were in Scotland. Over hundreds of years, people have been talking about cryptids, making it seem as if they are real. I don't know if they're real or not, but I would love to meet a unicorn. A minotaur is half bull and half man. Thinking about combining two animals, Today, we are going to be coming up with our own cryptids. What about half human, half cat? Or half human, half goat? Or half cat and half goat? On your whiteboards or a piece of paper, I want you to write some animals that you think that you could combine and they would work really well. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so hopefully you've come up with some ideas of animals you could combine together. If you're really wanting to push yourself in your writing, you could combine three animals, which means extra paragraphs. Right now we're going to start planning your explanation. Firstly, draw your picture of your combined two or three animals. Then, divide your page underneath your drawing. On my plan, I have combined a cat, a fish and a turtle to make a purr maid. Meow! In one column, I'm going to write five of the interesting features of a cat, and then I'll write five of the interesting features of a fish, then a turtle. When you have done the same as this, I will see you back here for the next step. Great! You should have the first part of your plan finished. And now the second part, we need to add the information. This is an explanation piece of writing, so you need lots of information to explain. For example, 
The cat has sensitive ears so that it can hear many sounds around it. The fish has two fins on its tail, making it be able to swim for a long time. The turtle has strong lungs so it can swim under the water for a long, long time. Great! If you're wanting an example of an explanation piece of writing, you can find it in the resources for this mini lesson. Now, have lots of fun with this. I am so excited to see what kind of cryptids you guys come up with and your reasons why you've chosen them. I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching! Why not continue learning by clicking on one of these lesson videos? And make sure to click that subscribe button. Happy travels!